Hi, this is my weekly art news video where I talk about articles that I've read on the art newspaper. Very good website. I suggest you check them out. I'm going to start with a 1.2 million dollar drawing by Picasso which was recovered by the US Justice Department. Uh, it turns out that it was acquired by misappropriated funds. Um, the story behind it is that the Malaysian government created this fund where they were going to promote art programs and culture and things like that. And so the former Prime Minister and some other ministers embezzled four and a half million dollars of that fund and the money made it to Swiss bank accounts where that money was then used to buy jewelry and diamonds and artworks and things like that. And this particular drawing, which was acquired through that fund, uh, then made it to Christie's auction house and someone bought it on there. Now, Unfortunately, these buyers often think that, you know, the auction houses should have vetted the artwork a little bit better to make sure that it's coming from a reliable source and not being coming, you know, not something that was stolen. Uh, but they don't do a very good job of that because these things keep popping up. But anyway, so the, uh, the Justice Department recovered that as well as a few other artworks by Monet and Basquiat and things like that. So they're in the process of doing that. Another article is on, there we go. The Iowa Museum is returning some bronzes to the Benin uh, royal, uh, the, the family that was the uh, royal family of Benin uh, back before it was, became a colony of the British Empire. And there was, in 1897, there was a very violent looting of the royal palace by British troops. And so a lot of that artwork and stuff in their royal family's collection made it back to England. Eventually, some of these bronzes were purchased by the Iowa Museum. And so now they have agreed to return them to the royal family of Benin. And this is kind of like being a, like a, uh, kind of like a, an example for other museums and institutions throughout the world, especially in Europe, because they were the big colonizers back in the 1800s, uh, to start returning some of this art artwork and artifacts that they looted from African countries and India and other countries like that that they ruled for many, many years. So that's happening. That's kind of interesting. And another article uh, that I found interesting is that the UK uh, budget for cultural programs and things like that is among the lowest in Europe, which is kind of surprising because, you know, England has one of the, you know, largest and healthiest economies. Uh, they spend a lot of money on a lot of things, apparently not culture and cultural programs, but they do spend it on aircraft carriers, kind of like the United States. You know, we don't seem to have a lot of money for a lot of programs here at home, but we do spend a lot of money on aircraft carriers and fighter jets and things like that. So, you know, I think maybe some of these governments might want to reevaluate how they're spending money. I know there's a lot of threats in the world, but I, you know, I'd say that they're probably doing a pretty, pretty good job of deterring any violence towards our countries. We're not in a war. Anyway, I'm all about peace and love. So, peace and love, everybody. Have a good weekend.